What's up, homies? All right, so you see this atmosphere around me right now? This is the energy that I feel coming from y'all, all you in this collective. So it's very zen, but there's a lot of twinkles in your eyes. So I'm feeling a lot of love in this collective. Okay, so I thought I would do a love reading for you guys for my love oracle cards. And don't forget, my new tarot deck is, you know, being created and printed as we speak and will be shipped to me and I will be using that deck uh, once it arrives. But for now, we're using this one, the love oracle deck, simplistic mystic. Okay, so the first two cards that jumped out at me while I was shuffling were these. And when I say they jumped, they jumped out, they shot out at me. So <laughs> the angels are trying to tell me to tell you, whoever you are, that this resonates with in this collective, that there is a change coming to your future or your, your free, it's coming, <laughs> good, a change. And your angels are telling you when this change occurs, you need to roll the dice, meaning it's worth the risk, this change, okay? And there's also, I'm picking up from this, these two cards again that shot out me like a gun, um, that there's change in the atmosphere, like there's an energy shift, like people are like, you know what, fuck being scared, fuck it, because you know what, I want what I want. And I'm going to fucking go get what I want, no matter what. This is what I want. So, fuck being scared. That's the energy that I'm feeling. Like I said, zen, but there's twinkles in your eyes when it comes to love. Like, oh, no wonder. Okay, so, your soulmate and or twin flame has had a spiritual awakening. So this tells me that your soulmate and or twin flame knows that they are your soulmate and or twin flame. The angels have finally gotten through. They finally understand like, oh, holy shit. Oh. I see the twinkles. <laughs> See why? Okay, so, oh my. Yeah. So, this is someone that you were involved in or in a connection with already established. You are in current separation. You are not speaking, okay? No communication at all. And I mean at all, okay? But, Make no mistake, your person regrets the connections disconnect, okay? They are riddled with guilt. Um, they know they've made a mistake. They want to make an apology to you because they feel like they've made the wrong choices. And I also feel like they feel like they misjudged you in some way. Hmm. I don't know. Feeling like a misjudgment in there somewhere. <laughs> oh. Mm. So we have a third party, okay, and they have a family with this third party. There's like, they have an established home, family, dynamic, kids, dogs, pets of any kind, fish, goldfish, whatever. They have a whole fucking life with a family established already. But. The, they regret, they have regret. Hmm. What's going on with this spirit? This is interesting. Oh, okay. Oh my, um, hmm. So, this legal matter is, is also what you call the justice card. So, this could, be, this could mean a divorce proceeding. This could mean um, just 
like some kind of justice, maybe justice is in your favor is what I'm picking up actually. There's some kind of balance gonna come forward in your connection. So it doesn't necessarily mean divorce and legal matters and then my God, am I gonna get a jail? What's going on? Um, this is actually the judgment card basically. So uh, like I said, it's taking accountability for your actions, but judgment will be in your favor or has been in your favor. So it's, it has something to do with a third party. So what I'm picking up here is this person Person has regret because they hurt you in this whole situation or shall I say situation yeah. okay so they hurt you because they made other choices for other they made choices to be with other people and not you for for whatever reason and it caused them you know to have issues and karma and all these things and in you know an imbalance in their life like they're just they're regretting all of this shit. They're like, boy, did I fuck up and pick the wrong person. <laughs> Whew. Um, yeah, you have a magnetic attraction. You and this person, like, it's magnetic. Like, you're, like I said, this is your soulmate and or twin flame. Like, it's a magnetic <laughs> attraction. Like, you want to be in a relationship with this person. Um, you feel like until you get with this person, until you actually be with this person in some way, shape, or form, you will never, ever, ever, ever be a satisfied person. Ever. Okay? So, you, this is what you want. You want to be with this person in some sort of a relationship. Whether it's a situationship, a relationship, a marriage, a commitment, a non-marriage, a commit, a fling, whatever the fuck. Relationship, some sort of a relationship, some sort of a cooperation and agreement to be together in some way. Because if you don't, you will never, ever, ever be a satisfied. You know what I'm talking about. Because again, you have magnetic attraction with this person. Um, oh. Music. Music is big with one of you or both of you. Or you share something with regarding music or something special between the two of you or something that reminds you a, a sign or a synchronicity um, music. Now, this you're at a crossroads. Like you're either you're at a crossroads or the person you're with, the connection that you have here, your person is at a crossroads or both of you are at a crossroads. Something, something going on right here. Something going on. You're, you're, you have a decision to make. You're, and if you, ha if this isn't going on right now, it's about to fucking go on. You're about to get to a point where you're like, oh, now what would I do? Okay, yeah, you're about there. You are about there. <laughs> what the fuck did I say? Signs and synchronicities. See this? Make model their vehicles license plates, uh, their names, their color, their eyes, their hair, their color, their hair color, their eye color, their, their build, their anything and everything that reminds you of them. And again, signs and synchronicities would be music. So there's some sort of thing you share with music with, that is, that is significant here. Um, and divine, divinely pathed, paved, whatever you want to call it. Um, and again, you're going to be at a crossroads. You're going to have to make a decision between two people. Ooh, and I have a sneaky suspicion that whoever the person that you do not pick is the bad one. And they're going to be very, very heartbroken over this. But this is the word. I mean, this person isn't the person for you. They're deceitful. They're selfish, they're mean, they're toxic, they're possibly narcissistic. Um, they possibly lie to you all the time. They're using you for your money or whatever you can do for them. And yeah, they're gonna be heartbroken and actually you're gonna be heartbroken over this too. Because it seems like you've been with this person for a long time. Hmm. <sighs> always, always remember, you gotta read between the lines with this person right here, this, 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 third party person, this person you've been with, um, always have to read between the lines of them because you can never trust them. But the one thing you need to do is have patience and understanding that your angels are, they are making your path for you. They are, they're going as, as you go, making your path, trying to show you the way, trying to show you the light at the end of the tunnel. And you just have to make sure you're paying attention and follow that light. 
I love you. I hope you have a good night.